Hello, welcome to GTA Excel Tech. I'm going to be showing you how to SSH tunnel. SSH tunneling is really awesome, and you'll see how it works. So first off, let's see what my IP address is. You can obviously see right there. There's my home IP. Yeah, I don't like seeing that. So let's SSH tunnel. What we're going to do is open up Putty. Put in our login details, and then down by SSH, hit the plus button, tunnels, and then the top one you're going to hit dynamic, source port you're going to put 1, you're going to put 9090, like that, hit add, then hit open, and you're going to log in with your info. Now, what we're going to do is open up Google Chrome, hit settings, and then show advanced settings, and then under network, change proxy settings, LAN settings, we're going to tick use a proxy server for the LAN, hit advanced, make sure all these ones are clear, so clean them out, the last one which says socks, you'll put 127.0.0.1 and then you're going to put 9090 hit ok hit ok hit ok and then exit and then you're going to refresh so there's my new IP address look at that and it works anywhere like say I go to google.com Google. But yes, that's what IP address is going. This is what IP address is going to show up. It's going to show me up that I'm in Canada. So now, if you want to apply it to your IRC, what you're going to do, right click, settings, preferences, go down to network setup, put for hostname 127.0.0.1, port 9090, type Sox 5, hit OK, then connect to the IRC network you wish. And by the way, you can have whatever port you want. But this is an example. Now if I look on my other screen. Right here. 198. You can now see the new... IP address. And that is basically how you SSH tunnel. There's also a way to SSH tunnel into stuff. Say you have um, a, a, a server running on localhost and you want to connect to it, like an IRC server. Well, I'll show you how to do that. What you do is open up Putty, get your login details. SSH tunnel. What you'll do is for source port, that's SSL. Basically, you add the local host and the port the IRCD is running on, and you'll you'll bind your local one to local host 6061. Did you see how I did that? So both of these are going to be the IRC port that's set for local. You're going to click Add, Open, and basically then. File new server tab slash server one two seven nine zero seven one like that. That is how you SSH tunnel into um, a local daemon on the server. Makes sense. So say so you have a webmin running. 
Well, webmen, you don't want to publicly show that to people. So webmen, you'll bind webmen to localhost, then you'll SSH tunnel into it to access it. Makes sense. So that is how you SSH tunnel. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks.